Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss how to rerun failed tests automatically in Mocha. Mocha by default provides us two ways to rerun failed tests. The first way is to configure the rerun capability in the test script itself. For that, we use this dot retries and then specify how many number of attempts that we need to retry. And the second way is to add the retries uh, option in your command that you are e executing to run your mocha test. Now let's see both these options one by one. Let's go to VS Code. So I have already created a uh, mocha test file, so which contains a before each and after each. So in before each and after each, right, I just created uh, one console log statement which prints the title of the before each and the test name for which this before each is running. And I've created two tests. Uh, first test case uh, will fail because uh, two plus three is not equal to six. And the second test case will pass. So let me run this particular uh, mocha file and show you the initial output. Let me scroll a little down. Initially, right? So it is, uh, we are getting these logs. Before each hook for address, executing address, after each hook for address, and then before each hook for subtractors, executing sub subtractors, after each hook for subtractors. Now, so we, we knew that the address is failing now, right? Now let's try to rerun it. How to rerun it? So we will first try the first method, which is configuring the rerun capability in our script. You can do it by using this dot retrace. So we can specify how many number of attempts that uh, we need to uh, retry for a failed test case. So let me specify three. Now when I specify three, right? How many times this test case will be executed? The initial attempt plus three more attempts. So this test case will be executed at max four attempts. So if the test case passed in between, right? Let's say if the test case passed in second attempt or third attempt, that would be its uh, last attempt. So if it failed for the first three attempts, right? It will execute for the uh, fourth attempt as well. And if the test failed in the fourth attempt too, then it will stop. Now, let me clear my console. Let's execute um, this mocha file again. So none of our tests are getting executed. Yeah, there is a mistake. It is retries. So retry spelling was mistake before. So that's why none of our tests are executed. So let me rerun this test again. So now we have all our tests executed. If you look at the add test block, right? The logs for add test. They are printed for four times. And after four times, right, that test is marked as failed. But for subtract test, right? So the logs are printed only once. And the test passed and the logs are not printed anymore. Now let me go back to my script. Uh, let me alter this a little. First, let me, now I have placed it after the described directly. Let me place it in the after it. Now before each hook will be executed before each and every test, right? Now will this retry have any uh, effect on the failed test case? No. Let me show you that as well. Let me turn this. And if you look at the console logs, right? Add test is executed only once. Subtract test is executed only once. So we can't add this dot retrace in the hooks. So we can add this in another place, which is in our it block itself. So I've added this dot retrace in my it block. So which means that this retrace, right, will be applicable only for this it, not for this particular it. Let me modify this. Uh, statement. Now, even the subtract test will fail, but add test will be executed four times, but subtract test uh, will be executed only once. Let me show you that. 
So if we scroll to the top, if you look at it, subtract test is executed only once, but add test, right? It is executed for uh, four times. So you can specify one more retries in your subtract test it's also. So maybe here I can say retries of one. Let me run it again. Let me scroll to the top. Now, even your subtract test is executed multiple times, but it is executed only twice because we have set retries of one only. But at test, it is executed four times because we have specified retries as three. So this is how we can configure uh, the retry mechanism directly in our script. Now let's look at the second approach where we add retries to the command that we are executing. So I'm executing mocha command. Uh, retry mocha and uh, retry.js is my file path. Now at the end, I'll say hyphen hyphen retries of, let me say five. Now, all the failed tests, right, will be executed six times. Five retries plus one initial attempt. So let me run this. Let me scroll to the top. So if you look at it, add test is executed six times. Sub subtract test is also executed six times. Now, we need to understand one more last concept, which is adding this dot retries in script. Let's say I've configured it as two and also in the command. What will be taken into consideration by your test? So your test will always give this dot retries given in your script, the highest priority followed by what is there in the command. So now what happens if we run this is add test will be executed thrice Subtract test will be executed six times. Now let's run it. Let me open it. So if you look at this, right? Add test is executed thrice, but subtract test, it is executed six times. So this is how you configure retry mechanism for the failed test in Mocha. I hope you understand the concept well now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.